And we're in the business of reaching people wherever they are to give them care. It's a mission that's only grown more complicated in recent years. Dr. Mark Kaplan, medical director of Sweetserb, says already rising rates of mental health challenges were compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic, especially for teenagers and children. You could appreciate how at a, at a critical point in their development, you know, they went from having friends and being on the sports teams to being in their bedroom at home. An infusion of federal funding is allowing Sweetser to expand their certified community behavioral health clinic in Brunswick. That means more certified mental health specialists on staff and funding to serve patients who may not be insured. It really does allow us to increase our access so that folks needing behavioral health services can receive them. According to NAMI, more than 37% of adults statewide reported symptoms of depression or anxiety in 2021. More than 12% were unable to access counseling or therapy. NAMI also reports 14,000 Maine teenagers have depression, but nearly half of them don't get any care. Kaplan says this new funding puts Sweetser in a far better position to meet the community's needs for mental health and substance use treatment. Not just delivering those services in an office building, but on the street, in their primary care practices, in the schools. In Brunswick, Ross Ketchke, Maine's Total Coverage.